if we start thinking about, well, why would members be interested in this new type of marketplace? Well, okay. First of all, our blockchain is a platform. And like any platform, its success lives or dies by network effects. That means how many transactions do I have going through my marketplace, which is a function of how many people I have recruited onto the network. So it's critical to go out, recruit the folks and get those transactions going through your network. Secondly, it's a function of decentralization. And we may start, particularly in the enterprise world, quite centralized actually, um, where we're a little bit better than a central database, but we're gradually becoming more decentralized. And the first problem we're gonna fix is what I would call ecosystem reconciliation. So this is where we have digitized paper flows, business to business, um, and with that common view of the truth, all of that reconciliation work falls away. So a process like post-trade settlement, um, you know, invoice and payment reconciliation, because that data is now agreed by the community in one place, it's like an ERP for the internet, you get tremendous optimization of the as-is process. The next thing that we can do is to start to open up and create more of a marketplace because the data that we have created can be considered to be a new class of data. This is trusted data at the level of the market. Now this data didn't exist before because the only way you could get it would be with a central intermediary and folks often don't want to share their data. It's confidential, they don't want to share it with somebody else. There's no trusted player. With this new trusted data at the level of the market, you can innovate and create new businesses and new value propositions and drive new revenue in your open marketplace. And then finally, um, as we use that tokenization, this gives us greater liquidity as we can start to build innovative new types of business models and we can start to drive secondary markets, new types of secondary markets, and we can try and start to drive new types of trading models. Um, so what